Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're with our In the Night Garden toys. We have a racetrack, a yellow racetrack, an orange racetrack, a red racetrack, and the tower itself is blue in color, just like our friend Iggle Piggle. And all the way at the top, there's even a green portion of the racetrack. And at the very, very top is a blue platform where we start our race. We're gonna let the Ninky Nunk go down the racetrack, but first, Iggle Piggle's going to use it as a slide. Iggle Piggle, go down the green slide. And we'll have to help him along. He got stuck. Let's see what slide Iggle Piggle goes on. The red one. Oops, he got stuck again. He just needs a little push to the bottom. That looked like so much fun, Maka Paka would like to try it. But first, he's got to put some gas in the Ninky Nonk. I wonder what slide Maka Paka will go down. Whee! Oops, he got stuck too. He's going to go down the yellow slide. He keeps getting stuck. Kitty's wondering what all this noise is about. We're just trying to help Maka Paka down the yellow slide. Finally, he made it. I think the little pointy parts on Maka Paka's head kept getting caught in the holes in the slide. And now it's time to see if we can get the Ninky Nonk down. Will it come apart, or will it stay all in one piece on the track? There's three parts to the Ninky Nonk. So let's see what happens when we put it down the track. Hopefully the wheels don't get caught. The Ninky Nonk is too big to start on the top platform. And also, it's too big to go down underneath it. So we're going to start the Ninky Nonk down lower on the green track, and it's right by the stoplight. The Ninky Nunk already came apart and it got stuck. This just isn't going to work. The Ninky Nunk is too big. So instead, how about we try to put the little middle part down the track and see what happens. Ready, set, go! Well, thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are getting a special visit from our musical Thomas the Train toy. And don't forget, somewhere in the video, look for the miniature Dora backpack. There are all different musical notes on Thomas. And at the end, there's a symbol in music called the treble clef. Thomas is going to play many different sounds. Let's turn them on. The first button is the steam. And the steam cloud has a musical note on top. So I wonder if it plays music. Thomas is going to drive to the music, since he can't really dance. Now the next button is the piano button. Oh, it's definitely the sound of a piano. Do you know where the third button is? It's the yellow steam whistle. Now there's one more part of the train that makes sounds and it's at the very back. We're going to spin this roll of musical notes. 
sounds like drums. And now we're ready to play some music. Let's play some music while Thomas the Train drives outside. Oh, there's a little bit of a breeze. Can you hear it? And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Our Sesame Street friends are riding the horse train today while playing musical instruments. Big Bird's playing a horn. Elmo's playing the cymbals. And Ernie is beating the drums. Baby Ernie is riding on a yellow car with a white star on the side. Elmo is riding the blue car, also with a white star. And Big Bird is in the front riding the white and red horse. Let's go by Sesame Street and see who's out front. It's Cookie Monster and Oscar the Grouch in his trash can. What is baking in the oven today, Cookie Monster? Let's go have a look in the kitchen. Today's recipe is carrot cake muffins, and they have a lot of carrot and coconut in them. We also need to make the icing cream cheese icing. And instead of using a spatula or a scraper to put on the icing, Tiny Treasures is using something called a piping bag with a piping tip. You can make muffins with many different healthy foods, such as apples, or how about banana muffins. And we made carrot muffins today. I think they're ready to eat. It's time to go and thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye! Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to explore the Fisher Price Circus Train. Hey, wait a minute. Who's in the giraffe train car? It's the Teletubbies. Hey, all. Hmm, where is the giraffe Teletubbies? Do you see it, tiny fans? There's its head. Let's have a closer look. This giraffe has a big long neck that can rotate up or down and its legs can move as well. The train is ready to go. Let's see which animal is on the next car. There's a picture of a monkey. And there's also a date. This train is from 1973. Let's have a peek through the door. I think it's a little clown. 
and there's the monkey. The clown is wearing a red outfit with a yellow hat and a yellow collar. The monkey has two hooks for hands and its tail looks pretty old. I think the monkey can hang from the... Oops! Okay, maybe not there. Oh, perfect! Ee, ee, ee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's keep going and see which animal is on the next car. It's the green lion car. It looks like the lion is sharing with the bear. Look at his big mane. And its tail goes back and forth. Its legs move as well. The bear can sit up, but it also can stand on all fours. Its front paws are hooked, just like the monkey's. It can hang on to the back. Now before we go for our long train trip, I wanted to show you one more animal, and I don't mean kitty. It's the big blue elephant, the biggest animal of all of them. Its trunk rotates round and round, and its head moves up and down. Its legs also move. And as we were pulling our train around, Kitty found a big feather. She's having a lot of fun. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to open a new Disney toy called Muska Train Express, and it has a little Mickey driving the train. This toy is for two years and up and requires adult assembly. Let's get all of the pieces out of the box. Whoa, they just keep coming. It comes with three stickers and some colorful instructions to put the train tracks together. This is a fun activity to do with parent and child. Let's see, the first thing we need to do is label placement. We need to find this blue piece and put Minnie Mouse on it. This looks like the right piece. We'll get our stickers. Oh, and there's cute little Minnie Mouse in her pink polka dot dress. Now remember, the stickers don't have to be on perfectly. It's even hard for me to put it on perfect. It might take a few tries. Oh, oh, good enough. Now we need to put our other sticker on, and I believe this is Pete. He is telling the train to stop. I think we're going to have to flip it around. There we go. Oh, that one was easier. The last sticker goes on the cargo tower with the Mickey ears. And I believe that's right here. And we have to attach the Mickey ears after, but we'll put the sticker on first, which is the mail and the mailbox. This is where the train picks up the cargo. This one's a little trickier to put on. Oh, that's really crooked. 
Okay, let's try. Oh, now my sticker is harder to put on because it sort of rolled up. Okay, there we go. And now it's finally time to put our track together. Let's see how easy it is. Very easy. It took me only a couple minutes. I love how colorful it is. Let's put our tunnel on. It comes in two pieces and it just snaps together at the top. And attaches to the blue track. And we'll put the Mickey ears on our cargo tower. There we go. Not too difficult. And it attaches to the yellow track. And that is where the cargo will go. And when the train moves this Mickey hand, the cargo will dump into the back of Mickey's train. Here is one of the pieces of cargo with Pluto on it. It's a blue box. And Chip and Dale is another piece of cargo in the red box. And we're ready to get Mickey started. Oh, let's give him a little push. He has one of the cargo boxes that he's going to drop off. Oops, oh, we don't want to drop that. Okay, and Mickey will keep going to the cargo drop. Oh, Mickey got stuck, but he got his red box. And we'll let Mickey go around the track one more time. And then we push the lever and he stops and we drop this cargo box off with Chip and Dale. And the blue one can go back in the cargo drop tunnel so that Mickey can pick that one up. Let's help him move along. Oh, he got stuck by the arm. Now he's picked up the blue cargo. This would be a fun little set for little ones. I know Tiny Treasures Minnie loves toy trains. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're hanging out with Miffy, Snuffy, and her parents. And Kitty, of course. Excuse me, Kitty, we're trying to do a video. Let's open our Play-Doh Numbers, Letters, and Fun Kit. Uh-oh, Kitty's tail is knocking down our Miffy characters. There are eight colors of Play-Doh in our kit. We have light pink, white, purple, yellow, Red, green, blue, and orange. Now as I'm trying to set up Miffy and her family, Kitty's tail keeps knocking them down. Silly Kitty. Okay, Kitty finally went to go have a nap. Here comes the number train. We're gonna to learn to count today with our Play-Doh and numbers. First, we're gonna start with the number zero. It comes before one. We will use our orange Play-Doh for zero. It's like we're making a number cookie. There's zero. Let's look for number one. It's right on top. We'll use our blue Play-Doh. I rolled it up in a ball. We'll squish it down to make another Play-Doh cookie. 
Cookie number one. Now it's time for number two. We'll use the yellow Play-Doh. Oops. This is a little drier Play-Doh, so it doesn't squish down as much. Number two. Number three stamper is in the front car. We'll use the purple Play-Doh. This is softer, so it makes a cookie. Number three. Where's number four? There it is. It was under five. Let's use white Play-Doh. White just like Miffy. Let's see if I can stamp it in the container. Nope, the stamper's too big. And here we have number four Play-Doh cookie. We only have three colors left, so we can only do three more numbers. We're looking for number five. And remember we saw it in the front of the train on top of four? We'll use the green Play-Doh for five. Let's see if I can squish it out in one piece. Nope, I have to pull it out with my fingers. This is really soft Play-Doh. I'll have to roll this in a ball. Number five, that's a perfect cookie. Red Play-Doh for number six. The stamper is red, just like the Play-Doh. And here is our number six cookie. Snuffy is sitting on the pink Play-Doh container. Ruff, ruff. This is pretty hard Play-Doh. Yep, it came out in one piece. And this is our last number. Uh-oh, I didn't use the right number. I've already stamped number six in the red Play-Doh, remember? Well, I think hmm, I can use the other side and stamp number seven. There's the seven. Hopefully this works. Perfect. And of course we don't have enough Play-Doh to do eight or nine. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're all done our counting for today and it's time to clean up so our Play-Doh doesn't dry out. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to paint the Ninky Nonk. The Ninky Nonk has a little bit of scuff marks. So we're going to give the Ninky Nonk a new paint job. Ready Ninky Nonk? First comes the blue. Time for some green, Ninky Nonk. Oh, Ninky Nonk, you're gonna look so good. Now for the red. Ninky Nonk likes red. And the last color will be yellow. What's your favorite color? 
Mine is green. Ooh, have a look at the new paint on the Minky Nonk. It looks wonderful and nice and colorful. Okay, Minky Nonk, it's time to wash you up. The Minky Nonk is all clean. Oh, except for one little spot. We need to call Maka Pekka. Maka Pekka, can you clean the Minky Nonk with your sponge? Maka Pekka. Good job, Maka Pekka. Now the Minky Nonk is all clean. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today is a beautiful day and the sun is shining down on Thomas the train. And we're gonna look at some of Thomas's remarkable train cars. They have dinosaur bones and dinosaur eggs and aquariums full of sharks and, and jellyfish. So let's choo-choo, chooga-chooga-chooga-chooga-chooga-chooga-chooga-chooga-choo-choo. -choo 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 oh boy, here come some of his cars now. Inside this special car, are tiny little dinosaur bones, and they're in some sand. On both sides, you can identify which bones belong to which kind of dinosaur. Pretty special. Let's put it in the light so that you can see better. See all the bones, and then there's a grate in the middle, and the sand sifts through the grate, and you can see on the other side, there's different bones. Now this car, is full of dinosaur eggs. And these dinosaur eggs are special. They actually are buttons that you can push and they light up. And inside, when they light up, we gotta go in the dark a little bit. You can see their baby dinosaurs inside those eggs. And then it dims and then you can't see the bones anymore. So those are our two dinosaur train tra train cars, and the next one, choo 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 choo. Look at this! It's called Reef Exhibit Sodor Aquarium. Thomas is has to be very careful because he's traveling with real live animals in water. And see, there's a hammerhead shark inside and it lights up when you push this button so that you can see inside and the shark can see as well in the green light. Ooh. And he's got one more car, Thomas. Again, it's going to the Soda Aquarium, to the reef exhibit. And this looks like a jellyfish. Let's push the light. Ah, another green light. And see all the water inside? Fish and sharks need water to stay alive. Well, Thomas, you best be on your way. People are expecting you. Ready? Chugga 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 chugga. Choo choo. Chugga 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 chugga. Choo choo. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. The Teletubbies are arriving on the train with Disney Junior friends. Hello, Teletubbies. Let's push the colorful buttons. Did you hear every time we pushed a button, the number was the amount of rings we heard. When we pushed one, 
there was only one ring. Time to count with Poe and Dipsy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's sing the alphabet with Mickey and Donald. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Yay, that was fun. Good job, Mickey and Donald. Well, thank you for stopping by, Teletubbies. You must be on your way now. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.